What's up everybody? My name is Scooter and you're watching Adventures with Scooter and today we're gonna do some long-range pistol shooting. People say this is pretty difficult but I'm here to show you that it's really not that hard. We're back at 554 yards exactly. Let's take some shots at these steel targets. Here we go. Why aren't you hitting it? I'm just being realistic. You're not a very good shot. Okay, for one, that's rude. And two, I didn't pay you to come here and insult me today, all right? Just hit the steel target. Okay, you got it. All right, so let's take a shot at these targets. Okay, that was a little too hard, okay? I'm shooting a nine mil, okay? That was a little too soft, okay? Crank it up just a tad. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I'm very excited about today's video because over the years I have shot a lot of big big guns but there's one giant gun that I've drooled over for a long time but I've never actually laid my hands on one. Well today that changes. Today I have my custom shy tac M200 intervention and ironically that is what is probably going to be held for me here soon by my family because I uh, I buy too many guns. So if you've ever seen the movie Shooter with Mark Wahlberg or you've played Call of Duty, most likely you have seen the shy tac M200 intervention. It is an iconic precision sniper rifle. The M200 intervention is a bolt action precision rifle chambered in 408 shy tac or you can also get them in 375 shy tac This thing weighs a whopping 31 pounds and is producing a butt ton of energy. This was meant to be a middle ground between 338 Lapua and 50 BMG. 338 Lapua, you're looking around 6,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy. 50 BMG around 12 to 14,000, but the 50 BMG was never meant to be a precision rifle. But this right here is. You're looking at around 8,000 foot pounds of muzzle energy, but it's also going to be able to take the hairs off of a fly's tushy at 2,500 yards. is a CZ 550 bolt action rifle chambered in 505 Gibbs. This is the 505 Gibbs and I'm about to fire this guy over here because I'm pretty sure he can catch my rifle. The 505 Gibbs is actually the parent case to the 408 shy tac This is a 525 grain round moving at a little over 2,000 feet per second and producing almost 6,000 foot pounds of energy. That is a lot of power, but this case cannot handle the pressures that the 408 shy tac is gonna be producing. So they took the case and they beefed it up to be able to handle higher pressures and then they necked it to a 408 diameter bullet. Now this thing is screaming at a little over 3,000 feet per second and producing over 8,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. I'm sure that was an extremely complicated process and I just oversimplified it by the way I was explaining it, so take that with a grain of salt. But I'm sure I would understand it a lot better if I were to check out Sonoran Desert Institute. And if you want to check out STI, there's a link in the description down below. <laughs> actually shoot this thing and have a little bit of fun with it. I know that the 408 shy tac M200 intervention is meant to be a precision rifle and today we are not going to be taking pretty much any long-range shots. It's like taking a Ferrari to a go-kart track but 
I am going to take it long range shooting at some point, but today I just wanna feel it out and I really wanna see what kind of energy this thing is producing. Now I have one type of ammunition we're gonna be using. I did have two, but uh, didn't really work out. But that is in my extended cut. And if you wanna check out the extended cut of this video, you need to swing over to Pepperbox. Myself and pretty much all of your other favorite firearms content creators are over on Pepperbox, along with a few other channels. For eight bucks a month, you are gonna get no ads. I'm posting exclusive content and I'm posting extended cuts of all of the videos I post here on YouTube. This does not change anything here on YouTube. I'll still be posting every week and it's 100% free. But if you wanna check out that extra content, which I highly recommend, and you're tired of ads, you should check out Pepperbox. Link in the description down below. Did you know that Orbeez can go bad? Oh my gosh, that looks disgusting. Okay, our first target today is going to be a level four ceramic plate. I wanna know if we can make it through this thing with the 408 shy tack So now I'm gonna be loaded up with some shy tack 419 grain rounds. That is a mean looking little round. Big round, sorry. My perception of what big and small is is very warped at this point. This is a big round, very big. Let's see what it does to that body armor. Oh, and by the way, I'm topped off with a Night Force 7 to 35 by 56. And I believe this is called the A Tacker. I don't know. It's really nice. All right. Woo! That is a long bolt. I think it's going to go through it. Here we go. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Holy cow! Yeah, let's go check that out. I'm actually gonna be picking up my brass today. This stuff is not cheap. Okay, let's have a look here. Holy cow, all right. Well, for one, we have expired Orbeez. Such a weird thing to say. And we also have some expired body armor. Holy cow. There's actually some Orbeez stuck in it, but I can get my finger. Ow, it's hot! Oh, let me try the other hole. Nah, I can't get it in there, but there is a hole completely through that level four plate. I mean, blew through it like it wasn't even there. And then smacked our Orbeez right there. And it sounds like, sounds like there's something in there. You know, you all always say something to me about my microtechs and how I use them, but I say to you, what is the point in owning it if you're not going to use it? So anyway, let's check this out. Uh, oh, we got some little, some little pieces down here. So we made it through the plate, but... We were not completely intact when we made it all the way through. I've just got pieces of that round. I don't know about you, but I am very impressed with those results. But I need to know, are these rounds really screaming like they say they are? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is with a chronograph. This magical device will measure the speed of our bullets, and later on, I will use it to complete a diagnostic check on my neighbor's truck. Now, let's get this thing set up and try it out. Okie dokie. Let's see what kind of reading we get. I think it was moving so fast that it blew it off the tripod. Okie dokie. Yeah, um, I think I shot a little low. So we will have to revisit 
the speed of the bullet. So I know that this rifle is capable of taking out this wretched creature at 2,500 yards, but I'm not really sure if even the 408 shy tack is capable of truly disposing of this thing. So luckily for us today, I got a new wood chipper. Well, up next, we're gonna shoot something that we have not shot in a long time, and that is a Stretch Armstrong. These will actually stop smaller calibers, but I highly doubt it's gonna stop a 408 shot attack. And behind it, I will have a six pound can of sausage gravy. It looks like the little guy is falling asleep. Let's wake him up. Kinda got nicked though, I think. Well, I'm not really sure. No, no, no. Got hit right there. It's just a tiny little hole, but quite the exit hole. And uh, the gravy, well, the gravy caught the rest of it. <laughs> side door does not work anymore so you kind of have to drive that like a mailman so we are working with a precision rifle today of the highest quality but unfortunately today I can only go back to about a hundred yards so I thought we would up the stakes I have some small targets here a can of Campbell soup and some apples but to make things more interesting I'm gonna place them on the other side of my limo and try to shoot them through the limo without damaging my limo and I really really like this limo okie dokie we are back at 100 yards get our target set up let's see if I can do this it's kind of dark probably because we're so far back all right I see the apple here we go I forgot to roll the windows down. Mm, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, hindsight's 2020. Should uh should have double checked that. Okay, let's uh let's go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, we blew through the other side pretty good. Uh, but we did not hit our apple or our soup can. Um, so I tell you what, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move this now, and I'm gonna take a few more shots. Okay, we are back at 100 yards again, and now I have the apple a soup can, and some pickles. And again, we're loaded up with some 408 shy attack, 419 grain rounds. No, sir. 
soup for you. Tell you what, for rounds that don't expand, they're still delivering a lot of energy. Think more energy! This guy is a really bad driver. Who gave you a license? I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought about the 408 Shy Tech M200 intervention and what else would you like to see me do with it when I decide to take this thing and stretch its legs on a long range. Also be sure to check me out on all other social media. Links to those are in the description down below along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time. Alright, hit it!